Hi, boys and girls. It's story time with me, Mary Todd. I have a question for you. Do you have or have you ever had an imaginary friend? When I was little, I had lots of imaginary friends, and one of them was named Little Bear. And Sam? He's in my hand. He was very little. And Little Bear went with me everywhere I went. Till I got a little older, and then, well, I put Little Bear away. But sometimes imaginary friends can be fun and helpful. And I want to share with you this story today about Jessica. And the little wording to here says, Can your best friend be imaginary? And this story is by Kevin Hinkies. And this little girl says, Good jump, Jessica. And she's playing jump rope with the tree. And here she is pushing a doll baby carriage. We're almost there, Jessica, she says. Here she says, Jessica is my best friend. Ruthie Sims didn't have a dog. She didn't have a cat or a brother or a sister. sister. But Jessica was the next best thing. Jessica went wherever Ruthie went. My toes are cold too, Jessica. To the moon, to the playground, she says to the swing, not too high, Jessica. To Ruthie's grandma's for the weekend, she says, Jessica's not ready yet. There is no Jessica, said Ruthie's parents. But there was. She ate with Ruthie. Careful, Jessica, it's hot. She looked at books with Ruth Ruthie. Once upon a time, Jessica. And took turns stacking blocks with Ruthie, building towers. This says Ruthie. This says Jessica. If Ruthie was mad, so was Jessica. If Ruthie was sad, Jessica was too. And if Ruthie was glad, Jessica felt exactly the same way. When Ruthie accidentally spilled some juice, she said, Jessica did it and she's sorry. When Ruthie's parents called a babysitter because they wanted to go out to a movie one night, Ruthie said, Jessica has a stomach ache and wants you to stay home. And when Ruthie turned five, it was Jessica's fifth birthday too. There is no Jessica, said Ruthie's parents, but there was. She went to bed with Ruthie. Sleep tight, Jessica. She got up with Ruthie. Rise and shine, Jessica. And she stayed with Ruthie all the while in between. Ready or not, here I come, Jessica. Wonder how you find an imaginary friend. On the night before the first day of kindergarten, Ruthie's mother said, I think Jessica should stay home tomorrow. Ruthie's father said, you'll meet a lot of nice children. You can make some new friends. But Jessica went anyway. Come on, Jessica, it'll be okay. Jessica wanted to go home so badly that Ruthie had to hold her hands and whisper to her. When the teacher announced everyone's name, Ruthie and Jessica weren't listening. She's calling all the different names. Jessica crawled through a tunnel with Ruthie. Don't get lost, Jessica. She took a nap with Ruthie. Can't sleep either, Jessica. And shared Ruthie's paintbrush during art. It says by R and J. They look very sad. When all the children lined up two by two to march to the bathroom, Jessica was right next to Ruthie. A girl came up to Ruthie and stood by her and asked, can I be your partner? Ruthie didn't know what to say. 
My name is Jessica, said the girl. It is, said Ruthie. The girl nodded. Mine's Ruthie, said Ruthie, smiling. And they walked down the hallway hand in hand. Ruthie Sims didn't have a dog. She didn't have a cat or a brother or a sister. But Jessica was even better. The end. So Ruthie made a friend, and her name was Jessica. I love that story. I hope you guys are doing well, and I hope you're using your imaginations and maybe playing with imaginary friends or animals like Little Bear. I look forward to seeing you. Take care. Stay well. Bye-bye.